Hello, good evening. We are here again in our practitioner clearing meetings. I am Viviana Ose, and we are presenting today Mariola Kosovitz. How are you, Mariola? I am very well, thank you. How are you, Viviana? <laughs> how are you, all of you here? Yeah, how are you all? Oh, you I'm fine. Oh, that's good. Uh, we are happy. Let's go do it this way. Joyful, happy day or meeting, at least <laughs> for us. <laughs> yes. OK, so I don't know if everybody did the prep to work or not, but I ask Spirit to prep us as a group. So that means if somebody didn't do it, it's OK. Spirit is going to do it right now. Viviana, do you, uh, do you have anything? okay we can start it yeah okay so Perfect. let's go with this uh, because this is the srt meeting so i prefer to do meditation with srt which everybody knows from the handouts from basic and advanced class okay so let's go just tune in a little bit and relax at least for this one hour from everything what is outside so close your eyes everyone yeah. Take a deep breath in, then release out. And if you can mute yourself, everyone also. One more time, take a breath in and release out. Let go of any stress, concern of all day. What was, what will be, we are just now in present with our physical body. Move your attention to your navel, the area around your belly bottom. Feel your belly rise and fall with your breath. Now, as you breathe in, imagine the warmth of the sun shining on the top of your head. As you feel the warmth, you realize this is the presence of spirit. And spirit equal love. So this loving, that loving divine love of spirit. Draw the warmth of this divine love spirit to the crown of your head. Down, down to your navel. As you breathe again, feel the warmth reach your hips, knees, and finally your toes. Breathe again and feel this energy reaching to the core of the earth, the mountain center. And you enter to the heart of the earth. So imagine how many beautiful stones, crystals are there. And all the earth has is supporting us. So bring this support from the mother earth to your body. Take a few breaths and notice how this feels like. Notice, if you notice any dark or cold places of your body or mind, allow the light to flow into these places, down from spirit and up from the earth center. Do not force it. If the cold, dark place does not lighten, simply send it love and return your attention to your navel and feel the warmth of spirit and affirm in your mind, I am an internal spiritual being. I let go fear. I have no fear for God is here. I relax and trust. Spirit and I are one. An infinite radiant love surrounds me now. I am one with divine love and love is powerful. Through the power of spirit, I can do what needs to be done. 
and Spirit and I are one, and all is well. Continue to breathe and memorize what this feels like. Take another breath, memorizing the healing and hold this feeling as you return the attention to the room. Just so slowly open your eyes. And be present. I hope everybody relaxed. Yes, that's good, that's nice. So we were talking last time about the prep to work. The first, I mean, last time when I'm saying that means the first time when we were talking about the structure of SRT and what is important. So I wanted to suggest as a teacher, maybe, or some have experience with SRT and spirit. So I wanted to give you some little um, suggestions, some ideas how to expand and enhance this work. So you know that very important is to do prep to work, step by step, nothing very short and quick because it doesn't work this way. Also, if you're doing some clearing session for yourself and for others and spirit is clearing, for example, without research, everything, because I had some experience with another person, she said, oh, I'm clearing everything like that on the on over the chats. I said, okay, is it is your life changing? Not so well. So that means it's not clear. So even with clearing without research, it's really beneficial for us. Check every area in your life and ask what percentage this area is cleared. Sometimes it's gonna be only 20, sometimes it's gonna be only 30 percentage. It's clear because sometimes we need to go deeper. And if you under if you learn that you know that soul can lie, can hide, and doesn't want it to, to tell you the truth sometimes. Or sometimes our conscious mind can black also because we are afraid to move forward, or maybe we are afraid to have a changes. So it's it's very beneficial to check very often: do I have a blocks to changes? Do I have a blocks to moving forward? What is holding me back? But I want to talk a little bit after prep to work, because prep to work, you know how to do that, how to start the session. Normally, I remember when I was on the beginning, I was a little bit afraid that I don't know everything. Actually, we know everything because spirit is giving us everything, uh, all the information, but sometimes we are emotionally attached, what we wanted to do the clearing for. So what I am suggest very often to check my my intention is, not, for example, that my relation to, relationship with spirit is in love and compassion. I love this one. So and be channel being open, not just only clear neutral channel, but open because sometimes the channel is closed. And I had this experience too that was closed. So I usually I'm saying I am open, clear, loving with compassion channel of spirit, because we are spirit. So spirit works through us. Spirit is giving, giving us everything. So this is what I'm saying, kind of more expand and enhance this kind of connection with spirit. So very often you can ask what percentage I am open for channeling spirit, what percentage I am close, what percentage I am when I'm channeling spirit, when it comes to, to channel, uh, what percentage I'm coming from love and compassion. It's very, very, very beneficial to ask on the beginning before you're going to start to any clearing. Another thing is uh, expand and enhance all the knowledge, wisdom, light, truth, understanding. So we have a chart, yes? So I have a chart here. So look at this one. It's not very bad here. So this, everybody has the same charts. But Robert Dessler was saying always that not on the charts, even there is written in the middle or on the inside of the chart one, not on the charts, those charts are very infinite levels charts. So what I am doing I, before I gonna go to, to work on someone or someone uh, on myself, I always ask to enhance and expand those charts. So what, because 
uh, the same like with the knowledge. We ask, we're asking to download the uh, spirit, download all the knowledge, wisdom, light, truth, understanding, yes? And as we're checking assimilation, what percentage I am assimilating, what percentage spirit is assimilated for myself. So, but I also ask spirit to download, to enhance and expand all the knowledge for me. So I have a, uh, I have a download that I have access to all what is in spirit from this one universe, universe, from all the universes we can ask actually, because all med modalities, all healing modalities, they exist in the spirit. So when we're asking to download all the knowledge, wisdom, light, understanding, expand and enhance all of this. So uh, spirit is gonna download for us everything what we're asking. And this way I am starting uh, with expanding and enhancing everything also. So what else? about that most important in the in srt it's to how to ask questions if you asking is something to clear and you got now sometimes people think oh there is nothing else to clear so it's okay but anytime i have a client or i'm working on myself first i'm writing i ask my clients to write all the issue and challenges why because this way is for me much easier and for my high self, I think it's easier because I have a, a the person wrote the email. I'm asking high self, my high self and the person high self educate about this email, about these challenges. So they know they recognizing those challenges uh, as a problem, because sometimes when you're working on something and high self is going to clear, but they don't know what they're clearing or maybe they didn't recognize this as a challenge. So sometimes we have to educate them our communities but remember high self it's like umbrella yes from with spirit so high self is going to ask you to bring another uh, uh, committees like healing committees wholeness committees council councils all of this is what is in, in chart one they working together but high self has access to a cafe records so if we need the help sometimes when you feel there is nothing to change we can ask spirit what Robert Dessler was always saying, spiritual Google help. What does it mean, spiritual Google help? But we are asking more beings to help us here with this issue and challenges. So another one is the, the questions. I remember that I always was, uh, I had a friend and she was, uh, she was asking so many beautiful questions. And I once, once I asked her, how come you have a so nice, good question? And she, and she said, you too have. I, I said, no, I didn't hear, I didn't remember even this. Yes, because when we channeling, we don't remember even what kind of question we, ask, we were asking. So very important before the, before the session, I always ask what percentage I am allowing to be guided by spirit. I am allowing spirit to guide me. That's very important because sometimes our mind can be on the, on the way so what percentage I'm allowing spirit to guide me? So that means I am detached myself from the outcome. I don't want it to, I don't want, I don't know what is it, spirit knows. My conscious mind doesn't know everything. Spirit knows everything. So this way I am allowing spirit, what percentage I'm accepting, clearing and healing. I'm talking about myself, but we're also doing for the others, yes? What percentage of people accepting? And sometimes I feel some some wall. Some ask ask uh, uh, is this a person uh, blocking? Yes, and usually it's gonna be conscious mind. You're gonna you're gonna recognize as a sensing uh, in your around yourself within yourself. There is something out there. So what I'm asking usually I'm asking if it is me or client, but I'm not asking aloud with my students. If they taking with me session, I'm asking aloud because they're learning this way. But with the clients, I'm not asking. So if something I feel it's often I'm asking, is it mine? No, is it clients or clients committees or my committees? So because sometimes clients, they, uh, they gonna block you with the conscious control too. Or even guardian angels, you know, they can block, yes? So we were asking for the educate, educate, educate them um, spiritual kick for guardian angels or for the person. Sometimes soul can block too. So we have to ask, is it physical person blocking or maybe soul is blocking? 
So questions and questions, questions. I remember that Robert Dessler said that if he will name it one more time, this uh, SRT modal technique, he will, uh, he will name it how to ask questions. So let's go ask questions now. If I don't know what to ask, I am asking Spirit to download me, to tell me what do I have to ask. But every time when we starting to do the session and we have a challenge, we always ask first, is there programs causing the challenge? So I can, I am very happy to, I am open to do someone's maybe challenge now. So I'm gonna go with this. Does somebody wants to do the clearing, to have a clearing today? So any person who is gonna, okay, Kathy wants to, is gonna be for whole group. Okay, um, I'm allergic to bees. To bees? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna take a piece of paper and I'm gonna write, Kathy is allergic to bees. <laughs> Okay, so are you prep? Yes, and I'm because I'm working with with her, so I have to ask. I did I asked to prep to work everyone in the group, but I have to ask. Am I prep? Do we have to do one more time prep? No, we both prep. But I wanted to be sure that I'm working with with your high self, and my high self working with your high self. So that means I'm asking with my hands. On the left corner is my high self. On the right corner, on the front is uh, your high self. So who I'm working with, my pendulum go in the middle, that means my high self is working with your high self. Okay? So this way, uh, I, under, uh, they, I know they are working together. Are they, are they, my committees and your committees, they are operating from the highest radian lab, most expanded radian lab. Yes. All of them. Yes. Do you have a healing committee? They're showing me now. What does it mean? I don't know when, the, when you finished the class. Are you, basically, advanced, you basically in advance? Yes. So, but you don't have a healing committee they're showing me. So I'm asking okay. a sign for your healing committees. Okay. Thank you. And they have to be operated from the, that means that's not like you don't have it. Maybe they're still sleeping, not activated. So do you have a healing committees? Yes. Do you have a wholeness committees? Yes. Because every person who is clear to the most, to the highest level on chart three, Radian Lab, so you should have a healing committees before the session sign up, but wholeness is coming a little later when we, when we clear ourselves to the most expanded level chart three. So let's go ask what percentage your high self and my high self understand that you have a challenge at all allergy for bees, zero. So I'm gonna ask you, please educate yourself so you can recognize for you as a challenge. So do they, what percentage my high self and your high self, they understand and they recognizing as a challenge. Now it's 100. So I'm gonna ask this way, is this program that causing you allergy for, uh, for bees? Yes, it's a past life, yes. Do we have to research? No, so let's go clear. So do you remember when we have a, so not selecting options, we have a, the sheet with the illness and diseases uh, from SRT? Okay, it's called reasons for different illness. Oh yeah, yep. There we have an allergy to grass pollen, tree pollen, animals, and food. So I will, I will, I could write here be, bees and honey, all of this too. Why not? You can write this. So are you allergy? So let's go ask. Is the program clear? One hundred. How much left? Okay. Is there another program? I always ask with the program. Is there another program causing for you to be allergy for uh, bees? No, or for honey? No, just bees. So I'm gonna ask this way, if there is no program. So is this, uh, is the reason why you have an allergy for this bee, the allergy for bees? Yes, where can I find the clue? And they're showing me on the left outside 9B. Okay, so let's go to 9B. Inside, no outside. They're showing me sweets, sugar, not honey, syrup, and not molasses. So sugar and syrup. Do you have allergies for this? Yes. So because you were killed by on the, on the sugar, they clearing the programs. Thank you. How much left? So is there another programs that causing you this uh, allergy for the sugar or the bee? 
is there any other reason that you have an allergy for the uh, for the bees? Yes, where can I find this reason? I eight A, they're showing me. Okay. Inside, no outside. Healer. The inner archetype of healer, the ability to heal heal itself. Do we have to research? Now, can you clear please spirit without the research? Otherwise, we're gonna go to the past lives and research. Past lives, blocking your inner archetype healer. So what percentage is clear? How much? Okay, what percentage her healer in her archetype functioning properly, ability to heal itself, 100%. So is there another reason why she has an allergy on B on the sugar? No. So first of all, I'm asking a program till I get no, then reason, okay. Robert Dessler also in, my, uh, in the dictionary, he said we have a reason for the reason also. Do you have a reason for the reason for this? Yes. Can be cleared without research? No. So I'm going to ask where can I find the information? Left or right, right on the chart uh, one, and they're showing me chart 32. Is it chart 32? Yes. So let's go. Inside, no, outside. Spiritual programs. So let's go clear them. Usually spiritual programs cause pain in the body also. So if you have a pain in the body and you clear the programs, everything about the pain, check for the spiritual programs and ask also for healing by father, mother, grandfather of the other soul. Because grandfather of the other soul is a spirit. So it's gonna help you with, uh, with the pain. Thank you. How much left? So I ask what percentage clear, how much left to clear? Okay, anything else? No. So is there any other reason for the reason? No. Okay, so I'm gonna ask this way. What percentage is mental? What percentage is emotional? What percentage is a spiritual? What percentage is a physical? And they show me physical is 100. Mental, emotional, spiritual were zero, so physical is 100. So I'm gonna ask this way to research and show me, is it SRT? No, SPR? Yes, so what I am asking, because I'm doing also SPR, spiritual restructuring, so SRT, SPR, or healing. If it's healing, that means book, healing book, because we have a spiritual healing book. You have a, yeah, yeah I'm talking only about the uh, SRT and uh, a spiritual, uh, therapy, spiritual response therapy. So because I'm not talking about the different modalities because we have a meeting about the SRT. So what does it mean? SRT, SPR, or other? Other for me will be healing or healing book. So this way you can also uh, uh, download for, for ask high self download about SPR so they can do lots of stuff energetically. Why not? We can ask for everything. So physically they're showing me SPR. So I'm going to SPR with you, okay? I'm asking, I don't know, the people know SPR, I'm going to chat uh, one and asking what needs to be done and they're showing me respiratory system. So how this allergy mm, mm, to be uh, manifesting in your life? You have a, what kind of allergy that symptoms, what you have? Um, well, with the bee, I got stung and I had anaphylaxis for the first time in the summer. So it never happened before. Okay. So they're showing me your lungs. They have a psychic wounds. Okay. Psychic wounds, then whatever you were wounded, etheric mm -hmm. body is wounded. So they, we are asking to clear, heal all levels of that. And any being is attached. Thank you. Anything else? So... Anything else about the respiratory system? No. Anything else from the SPR? Yes. What is it? Lymphatic system, they're showing me for you. Tonsils. Do you have all your organs and glands? No. Which you don't I don't have my thyroid. So this one is very important for you. What you have to do, you have to rebuild energetically your thyroid every month to the end of your lives. Okay, I remember. So the pe people who doesn't have the organs or glands, not tonsils, tonsils we don't have to, but they're working on your tonsils right now. You need to ask, for example, for example we, we're going to do energetically rebuild your thyroid 
So they're doing great now, but from today, every 30 days, you have to put in calendar to ask to rebuild energetically your thyroid. Okay. Okay. So if somebody has a removed organs and glands, that's what we should do that. I mean, we're not doing, we're asking myself to do that, but right. that's what you have to ask. Okay. Because there is okay. no balance in your body too, probably anything else. No. So is anything else from the SPR for you? No. Clearing for healing? No. So let's go back to SRT. Okay. So uh, how did you say you had, uh, because the allergy for me, it's something else, but you said differently in English that you first time had. Oh, an anaphylaxis. Um, well, you can't breathe. Yeah. Close my throat. So that difficulty to breathe. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's what you had. Okay. Yes. I'm going to ask, are there any symptoms about the allergy for B? No. So what percentage you are free from this allergy? They're showing me 100, but, uh, you, you know, you, if you need something to take for allergy, you need it. Yes. How much left physically? Zero. So is any other reason why you have this allergy for B? No. So symptoms of allergy, zero. So when I'm working on something, allergy, now I'm asking if she has a symptoms of allergy, zero. So because she mentioned difficulty to breathe, so I'm asking that she has a program that's blocking your difficulty to breathe. Yes, what is the program? Not on SRT. SRT, SPR, other, healing book. So let's go to healing book, spiritual healing book. So I'm going here and they're showing me to go to the patterns. Where can I find the patterns? First page, no. Second page, yes. What is it? First, is it this one? No, this one. Which one, Spirit, show me this one? Okay, so first they're showing me you need etheric body adju uh, adjustment. Page 94. So I'm asking Spirit to do that for you. Thank you. Anything else? No. So any other reason why you have a difficulty to breathe? No. Okay. So what percentage you are going to continue a difficulty to breathe? Zero. What percentage uh, you, you are free from this? Your body is free. Okay. Any body or mind's blocking healing? No. Is a uh, cutty blocking healing? No. So when it comes to this uh, allergy symptoms, difficulty to breathe, what else spirit we wanted to know? Is it the program, clue, reason, or anything you can show us? Nothing. Okay. So what percentage also you are open, receptive, and accepting healing? 100. Are we going to see improvement with this? They show with me 100, but please do not step on the beef because we don't need a swollen leg here, okay? <laughs> so anything else to clear, do, or heal? They're still looking because I wanted to go to check if it's anything else, SRT, SPR, or other, no. So they're doing map up. My, spirit, my high self, your high self is doing map up now. So map up is complete, but I mean, will be complete. Thank you. Okay, can you verify still the map up is complete? Yes. Are there any programs coming up or hidden, buried, cover up? No. So the program uh, is your soul clear to the highest level consciousness? Yes. You're being agreed that you are clear and you are free. My high self, your high self agree? No. So my high self and your high self doesn't agree. So I'm asking, show me what is next. And they showing me chart seven. So let's go to chart seven. So what it needs to be done, inside or outside? Outside, what is it? Can you show me clearly, please? Spiritual healing, spiritual healing book? No, you need a spiritual healing. Okay, thank you. Anything else from the chat seven? No. So I'm gonna ask, because I have a little more questions, I'm gonna ask, does the body want to be healed? 100 percentage. What percentage Kathy wants to be healed from this? 45 percentage. What percent? Oh, no. <laughs> Did you say 45%? Yes. Oh, geez. So when I was working on my health, because I had some challenges with my health, many, many, many years, and somebody told me, Mariola asked what percentage she wanted to be healed. And I, for me, was zero the time. Mm -hmm. So let's go see. I'm asking spirit to, to, to educate you that, okay, what percentage you wanted to be healed? 100%. So I'm asking what the, your body wants to be healed. Yes. So 
uh, to what percentage you are open for healing, receptive, responsive to healing, 100, but blocks 20. So what is it? Open, res responsive to healing. So spirit is clearing. What percentage you are open to res responsive to healing and black is zero. Good. Are spiritual healing patterns needed? No, we did it. Power codes? Yes. Why not? 997, nine, nine, nine times daily, if you're going to say it's healing uh, number for everything. But you have to say nine nine times in a row. Right now? 997. No, no, I'm saying oh, okay. every day. Yes. 997. Okay. Mm -hmm. So anything else will be beneficial for Kathy? Yes, they show me homotoxicology for you. I'm going to homotoxicology. I come up oh, here. And I'm asking, where are you? And they're showing me on the phase three liver triple warmer so they applying healing on the triple warmer now it's a stomach phase two and fast uh, one bladder okay and you are do you remember i don't know if you everybody remembers this is homotoxicology yes so how we holding this way and then we going from right side above chart on the right side with the circle and asking where are you, which first face, face needs to be clear. So they sh showing me first the third one. And now you are on the beginning of this uh, above, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the uh, face one, you are here. That means it's done. But I can ask if they're gonna continue it for you homotoxicology. Yes, days, no weeks, two weeks, four times daily your spiritual okay. committees, hidden committees. Yes, thank you. So when it comes to healing, is anything else for you? Yes, photon sound bean machine. We have a photon sound bean machine. Photon sound bean machine, it's a healing machine. You can read in the dictionary. And spirit says it's gonna be for three days. Now, three weeks, you're gonna receive it eight times daily healing energetically i like it thank you anything else now so is anything else that we have to focus on your um healing no they're showing me now how do you feel Patty? i feel lightheaded <laughs> lightheaded okay i'm gonna ask why 9d let's go to why that. i think it's from the energy yeah, but I'm asking all the spirit why you're feeling like this and they're showing oh. you to be. Okay, okay. So, so to okay. So I'm asking what is it? So show me clearly, spirit, please. Is this about your diet? Less or more? More. You need something more. So I'm asking, what do you need more? You need more beans to beans. Beans to your diet. Don't like beans. You don't like it? <laughs> no. Okay, so let's go ask why. Okay. Is the reason for that? No. Program? Yes. Can be cleared? No. What kind of program you have uh, that black that you don't like the beans? And they're showing me on the escapism. So kind of like uh, escaping escapism means you're not grounded and you, uh, you're not taking responsibility. It's on soul level and physical level. Thank you. So any other reason why she don't like the beans? No. When you think about beans right now, how do you feel? Like I wouldn't eat them. You wouldn't? No. Okay, then don't eat that. That's fine for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the good, so this is the good, good source of the carbohydrates or fiber, something like that. It's, it's better than any sweets. So that's maybe that's the reason spirit is showing. I don't eat sweets. Yeah, that, that's something you said, the sugar, and that does hurt my joints. So I don't eat sweets, but okay. maybe now I can eat some sweets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anything else to clear, do or heal? No, they're showing me it's complete. Thank you. So choice is yours. Spirit can do something, but you need to, you need to have a conscious choice. So any, uh, any advice they showing me for you, 6B, I mean, spirit showing me, advice for you inside now, harmony, harmony and love. So what does it mean, spirit? 
They're showing me advice, harmony and love. So I'm going to chart one, uh, asking, what do you mean harmony and love? They're showing me chart, spirit shows indicate chart 19. So I'm going to chart 19 and I'm asking, what is this about? Clearing statement. That means clearing statement on chart three, on chart 19, it's a, a releasing statement. I don't know why it's calling clearing statement. Harmony and love. So let's go everyone do the clearing statement, okay? It's related to, 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 to you, the, yes, to you, not relationship, no. So let's go do everyone. So mute yourself, Kathy, because you're gonna uh, say aloud, everyone as a group, let's go do releasing statement, okay? About harmony and love. So we're gonna do very, keep it simple, spirit, very simple. Okay, everything simple. I release all belief, perception, and judgment that I have a blocks to harmony and love. Take a deep breath in and release out. I release all needs and desire to believe that I have a blocks to harmony and love. Take a deep breath in and release out. <clears throat> when we're saying aloud, that's very important for our conscious mind. I now completely accept and believe and instruct my subconscious to accept and believe on every level of my being that I'm free from this. I am harmonious and I am love. I accept love, I receive love, I give love, I'm full of love. <laughs> and I like it and it feels good. And take a deep breath in. Okay. So is it still good? It feels good? Okay. Anything else? I'm not getting anything else. So in this moment, I'm going to ask if your high self and my high self agree. Yes. And hidden, buried, cover up, no, soul hiding, no, soul lying, no, what percentage is clear? 100, are you going to hold? Accuracy, 100. So what percentage are you going to see improvement? 100, but I don't know when, for sure, because it's up to you, yes, now. But they show me what percentage you are free from the allergy on, for B, 100. For allergy from sugar, 100. Symptoms for this, 100. So, but remember one thing, sometimes we need to check also the diet, but also with you, it's thyroid. Mm. So uh, please put in the calendar every 30 days to rebuild energetically your thyroid. And you just ask, Kai self, can you rebuild? Yeah. Okay. It's not, yeah, it's not, can I please rebuild every 30 days? So every month has a different day. So you need to put in the calendar every 30 days to the end of your being here on the earth. Okay. okay. I hope someday I can work as fast as you can. What? what? I, I hope someday I can work as fast as you can. Oh, I'm fast? I'm, I'm fast. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> that would have taken me like three days. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. So, you know, it's experience. When I, on the beginning, when I learned SRT, I, uh, I was uh, focusing on others instead of myself. I would love to do everything from others. So I know I understand why spirit was guiding me to working on the consulting line. Because when we're working on others, we're doing also healing for ourselves. Because yeah. every, each person is gonna bring something to clear and heal for you. So this way I was very lucky so I was listening spirit. It wasn't easy, but it was clear and healing for me too. Any question you have around the sessions? Yes. Is there anyone with a question? Who has a question? No one? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there it's Jia Jia Jian. 
Yeah, I have a question. Can you hear me? Sorry. Uh, in the back. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, can you hear me or yes, yes. Okay, okay. yes. Okay. My question is uh, if you're, you you mentioned about so lying and so hiding, if um so like I should ask that for every client in the end of the session or be, before the session I will, or uh, when I will check uh, during the session also, but but do not say aloud because the the that's it's inappropriate to say something like that because not always the client will understand that soul can line or hide something. Okay. So, uh, but during the session, after the session also, and I will suggest for a, a check during the session, if you're working with high self still, who I'm working with, where is my ego, what percent I'm neutral. It's very important every few, every few men, not maybe a few minutes, because you learning how to read your sensing the energy, learning what's going on during the session. And most people, they, they do clearing and they don't stop when they feel something is there. Just the stop, clients doesn't have to know this and ask what is what I'm feeling, what I'm sensing here. Is it my client, myself, spiritual committees? Who is it? But when it comes to so lying, hiding, I, I did written on my chat, so spirit is showing me. Okay. I, um, you can do your own charts with the new information. They're not new, but you can make some new chat and write on the chat something so hiding uh, or doesn't want it to see it. Or you can ask also during the session. If it's important, spirit itself is going to give you the stop thinking. You don't have to okay. you don't have to control that it has to be this way. But if it's important, spirit is gonna show you how. I'm gonna tell you how. Do you remember on the prep to work? Wait a minute, prep to work. You have also different prep. Oh no, prep to work is the same in, in advance and basic, but map up is a little different. So when it comes to map up, I'm going to my map up. When you have a, on the map up, is there anything more to do? Yes, the question. Map up. Who has a map up on the front of yourself? Do you have a map up? Yes. Yes. So do you see this? Uh, uh, is there anything more to do? Yes. Yes. yes? Okay. So if if not, you're gonna go to the next page. But if is, then means there are some. Sometimes there are four options. You have A, B, C, D, something like that. Yes. Yes. Do you see this, Jaja? Mm, um, in the map up, the four options. You said. Yeah. You have more options. Uh, is there and so very important? You see, we didn't talk about the map up. The same like a prep to work. If you map up, do map up, spirit says it's map up time, you have to go to the questionnaire, which you have in the map up. Just one second, I have to take a different book because my, my map up is a little different here. So now, does somebody has a map up on the front of yourself? I wanted you to read. Can you, can, Viviana, do you have it or no? Or who has a map up on the front? <laughs> Involve everyone. Emergency. Okay, so Jaja, I wanted you to read from the beginning to map up. When there is, uh, when there are no additional programs to clear, can you read aloud? Uh, yes, when there are no additional programs to clear, ask, is there anything more to do? Yes or no? If no, move on to step two. If yes, hold pendulum over chart one and ask what needs to be done. Uh, to be done. If high self indicates chart seven, ask for healing to be applied on all levels. Verify that the client has been assigned a spiritual healing committee and that they are at the highest levels of chart three. If you are sent on another full research round, make certain that all blocks and interferes. We cannot hear you, Jaja. Oh, okay. And you're um, first too. <laughs> 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 so what does uh, it mean? Okay, so if you got there is nothing more to do, 
you can go to the number two. But if you, there is something to do, spirit is going to guide you to go on the chart seven to apply healing. And then if you if you got yes, also you have under that something in the map. Can you read? You know that we can hear you. Oh. Uh. Okay, uh, do you want me to read directly for the uh, four possibilities? Yes, or the four want... possibilities, okay. yes. Okay, the first possibility is called miscellaneous. The second one is called not on charts. This is something brand new. It goes on stack nine. Uh, the third one, clear or charts. This is everything plus the nine stacks. The four, my pop. So thank you. So that's what I'm asking. Very often, my high self was showing me to go to first when I'm doing prep to work. I am asking if the prep to work is complete. If not, I am going to prep to work and I'm uh, with pendulum and asking spirit indicate me what is not complete. After the session, I'm going to map up. If the map up is complete, I'm going something. I'm asking is anything else to clear here? If yes, they're gonna show me what I need to focus on the first page or the second page. But I'm going through, the, through this uh, questionnaire. Otherwise, you can miss something. For example, like we had today, if my high self and your high self, Kathy, agree that they, there is uh, yes, complete, it was no. So I had to go and ask more questions. But I have a one thing on the, on the end of the map up also, and the hidden buried cover up. So, Jaja, from the advanced class map up, after the map up, there is some information. Can you do the end? Go to the second page to the end almost. It, and it says if you have any challenges or issues and they still are there, do you have something information like that? Uh, you mean the end of the map up? Yes, the end of the map up. Go to the next se section on the map up. Uh, is it called note about persistent issues? Yes, please read this one. I don't know if anyone read it before, but it's very important. All right. Uh, you may need to ask if there is another reason that is causing the problem. For example, the spiritual being may want the client to suffer as part of the learning process, or the spiritual being may want to continue on the original plan for the life rather than changing and setting the client free to experience a better life. See the handout, sticky issues questions for additional research questions to ask. So this is very important. If if personal life doesn't change, very often spirit is showing me this, uh, this, uh, this what uh, information what Jaja was reading. And also you have an issue with, uh, not issue, the, uh, the questionnaire about your spiritual committees can block or for you as a, for yourself. This is the, I have, you know what, I'm little, little, and cannot find my prep to work because I have on the front of something else. So when you're reading, when you're gonna read under a uh, map up, those information, what Jaja is, uh, uh, reading, I will ask question about it too. Okay, if your being wants to support you in the negative, positive, oh, uh, uh, we have uh, two also extra pages for the your healing, not healing, your committees can block. And another is when you were reading, Judge, I'm sorry, the last sentence was about the. Uh, sticky issues questions? Yes. You okay. should have a handout with this. Yes, I do. Do you have a handout? Okay, yeah. Uh, I have got reasons your spiritual committees may block. Is it the yeah, but we have another one too. Uh, one more. Um, they call it sticky issues? I think I found it before. Sticky issue questions. So everybody should receive this one advanced class. So I will go and, and ask those questions over there. But remember, you can make a, your questions too. So if you, you can write your, your personal questions because there are so many different questions. When, for example, we did it clearing like that, I will go for next time with a different questionnaire. 
why the person doesn't change or why most important is ask is there a program that causing the challenge or issue or supporting this challenge or issue but your high self needs to also recognize this as a challenging issue in your life and I will also suggest after the clearing yourself, clear your spiritual committees also from the same challenges what you're clearing for yourself, because they have the Akashi records too. So when they have the Akashi records and they, they were incarnating, incarnated too, and they have some challenge, you know, in the Akashi records, what we have to. So it's very beneficial to clear also your spiritual committees, everyone. So any other questions? No? Thank you, Jaja. Thank, for thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone? So, oh, Clown Neto, Clown Neto. Did I say correctly? I don't know. Hi. Hi. Um, Hi. Hi. I would like to know, uh, is there a way you can do a, a cleaning with a specific point, like open the heart? Um, because there's, there's the thing I need to work now. Yeah, I've been, I've been not able to do with the way I like to do. So what do you mean the open the heart? Um, be able to... Um, share the energy that my heart can bring so let's go do i don't know but i'm gonna ask spirit okay what we okay. have to because uh, yeah so i'm gonna ask uh, the, what i'm receiving is your mind and heart and body mind spirit should be like an alignment yes maybe something about that so you're not okay. here you are in the heart because the heart center that's what we feel love yes so you wanted to do that like every day or during the is, is the session or so i'm gonna ask this way okay what percentage is connected day to day maybe day to day i don't know it's a day to day but what percentage you are connected to your heart 45 percentage so uh, what is blocking you seven let's go to the chart seven They're showing me you need the back flower rem remedies first. So when you are in your life, what is blocking your connection to your heart? 8B. So remember the back flower remedies. Actually, I have to tell you something. I have a sheet with the, black flower, uh, with the back flower remedies. If I wanted to know a little deeper, what, what kind of do you need? So this way is giving me also idea what spirit is saying. So I have a sheet with the back flower remedies and I'm asking okay. which one for, for you, Clown Nieto. And they're showing me Elm. And the Elm is cap capable people with responsibility who felt filter temporarily. That means the strength to perform, perform your duty. Is it, uh, is it resonate with you or yeah. no? Yes. So is it something blocking here? Yes, can be clear. No. So what is it, spirit? Can be clear program replication. So what are you replicating is they're showing me 6A, despair. So let's go clear this. Thank you. Are they clear? Yes. Is she gonna replicate now? Is she free from this? Yes. So spirit, this connection to heart. What percentage of your mind is uh, connect uh, aligned with heart? 100 right now, what you percentage connected to your heart? What percentage of your heart is open? They show it me 100, but we want it to be aligned by body, mind, and spirit. That means body, heart, mind, and spirit. So what percentage you are open for this alignment? Uh, align, being aligned, mind, did they show it me 100? So what do you mean with your heart energy? Because I'm asking spirit to show me what is the meaning under this in your consciousness 
and the showing needs abandonment, that you feel abandoned. I was. For me? <laughs> yes. So I'm I, I've been work with that uh, team. I think I've been here, but maybe not. <laughs> So abandonment by yourself, by others, by spirit, by God. Why I I'm, yeah. So uh, by others and by God, they showing me because you know I was born in Poland, so I didn't hurt the spirit in Poland. So there's the reason you are from, uh, from. What country are you from, Neto? Mexico. Mexico. So you probably also have a disbelieving in God. So they are religious beliefs. So you were born mm -hmm. with this in your tradition. So can be clear the spirit. Now, what is the root of this? They're showing me chart four. So I'm going to chart four and ask, what is it? It's a self-punishment. Do we have to research more? Energy find now can be cleared? Yes. And I'm asking also for spiritual kick for you. This is the past life. So what percentage is it clear? How much left to clear? Spirit, what percentage she feels abandoned by God? zero by others zero how do you feel now i feel okay good better in your heart how do you feel can you go to your heart so this is about the worthiness of joy anything else no and they're showing me another because uh, the joy and love that's what we came from origin. So you don't, we don't feel worthy to have a joy or have a be joyful. So let's go uh, do a releasing statement for this, okay? Okay. I, everyone, just mute yourself and say aloud. I release all belief, perception, and judgment that I do not feel worthy of joy. Take a deep breath in and release out. I release all need and desire to believe that I do not feel worthy to have a joy in my life or being joyful, enjoying my life. Take a deep breath in and release out. I now completely accept and believe and instruct my subconscious to accept and believe on every level of my being that I am free, I am joyful, and I am worthy to have a joy in my life, and I'm worthy to love my life, and to be whole mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. And I like it and I feel safe. The spirit is doing healing. So every each person who come here, as we as a group, everything is for all of us. Do not think if I am uh, that if I am a teacher, uh, I have everything perfect. The same like you. We are on this path, everyone, the same. Thank you. Anything our spirit now. So for all group, I am asking what help do we need? Council of seven and high council, they're gonna assist us with learning healing with the energy of what? Wisdom, I'm sorry, wholeness, vitality, outside, and the success, support, and strength. That's good. I like it. Anything else, spirit? No. Claudita, Claudita, how do you feel? I feel um, really, and feel the joy. I feel your company. I feel really, really nice. Thanks. Oh, thank you. We are nice here to each other. So I'm going to tell you something, one more, okay, before we complete. In the spiritual uh, uh, releasing statement, you have a second part here, spiritual reparenting. Why don't you do, but separate for mother and separate for mother, mother, separate for mother and separate for father, nine days, once a day, 
nine days, once a day, do releasing that spiritual reparenting separately for mother and separately for father. Nine is completion. The spiritual reparenting is about the loving yourself. Okay, good. Anything else, Spirit? No. I think we done. Yes. Thanks. You're welcome. Many blessings. Excellent, excellent meeting, Mariola. Thank you very much. I think we are all blessed. Yeah, we are blessed today. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we need the more blessings, yes. And I think we should always keep this union, keep this energy flowing. So for the challenging times we are experiencing now, so let's bring joy, let's bring peace, let's bring all the good thoughts for our earth, yes. for our world. Yes. There are no borderlines, actually. They are illusions. You know, we're not separate. We all want. Yes. So whatever we're changing within us, it's, it's influencing everyone. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mariola, again. And I wish, I hope that you can, we can have you again in another meeting. Yeah. Let's do another one, the third part, yes. Yes, the third part. The third part, yes. So maybe and thank you all. Thank you all for joining us today. Yes, thank you. Many blessings to all of you. Without you, we wouldn't be here today, the meeting. So thank you for coming. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Much love to you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Bless you. Thank